After a year of delays, Tesla Roadster number 23 was finally delivered. Several hundred more are still on order. Sometimes I feel like I'm writing the same story about Tesla over and over again, which is that Elon Musk has said this unbelievable thing about Tesla Motors' financial condition or their product plans or what have you, and it turns out not to be true. Which leads us to Martin Eberhard, one of the founders of Tesla. He is now suing Elon for libel, slander, and breach of contract. Martin was the uh, original visionary of the Tesla Roadster. He's been sort of airbrushed out of the, uh, the corporate history of Tesla, much like a Kremlin official. When I started Tesla Motors, uh, there were just two things that everybody knew about electric cars. One of them was that they sucked, and two was that they were dead. Uh, and this is the car that changed the way people think about electric cars. Th this is Tesla's first business plan. This is the first copy of the first business plan. Tesla at that point wasn't, it was just basically a business plan and three guys working part time. It's quite comical in the amount of money that, I think it said like 35 million or something like that was the total that would be needed to get to production, rather than 195, which is what it actually took. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't work very well. <laughs> there comes a point in, in the history of most startup companies where the entrepreneurs that started the company have to move on. And sometimes that's done uh, uh, in a very smooth way and sometimes it's not. He was fired from the company at that point and from the board. And it was a unanimous board decision, by the way. Martin withdraws his lawsuit after Elon threatens to counter Sue. To this day, the two men disagree about the history of Tesla Motors. Elon is becoming better known for feuds and firings than for making cars. And now, the company is out of money. I mean, it's pretty hard fighting a two-front war in the middle of a Siberian winter. <laughs> and both fronts are really freaking hard. Between SpaceX and Tesla, Elon's burn through almost his entire PayPal fortune and is down to his last $3 million. Just to keep Tesla alive, I had to wire $3 million personally with no guarantee of anything, basically wire the funds and say, use it. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to make payroll. To generate cash, Tesla raises prices on people still waiting for their cars. Even the true believers are starting to doubt. So I put a deposit down two years ago, $50,000. That's a lot of deposit. And a lot of friends who are a lot of naysayers. You're silly, you're stupid, you are just another one of the dumb doctors who fall for the boneless chicken ranch kind of schemes, and you'll never see your money. So when this came along, all of a sudden I took a big gulp, and I'm like, wow, my friends might be right. I cannot understate the degree of grief that I've personally gone through uh, and that many of other people at Tesla have gone through to, to, to make this work. When I say it was like eating glass, I mean glass sandwich every bloody day, okay? I wish we didn't have to raise prices. Um, it sucks. But I can't carry Tesla entirely by myself. It's just I just don't have the resources to do it. We took faith in you, and now you're just turning around and changing the price on us, not telling us, and then we find out about yeah. backwards, and now we're kind of everyone's hurt because we weren't told. We can't sell cars for, for you know, less than they, they cost us to produce. If, if anything more behind, more than that occurred, then it was well, an accident. Of... There's a bunch of comments after it that all got Okay. Off. There seemed to be a little bit of anger from some people in the room um, who felt that we'd kind of done a bait and switch. Uh, and I mean, that's just sort of a little bit true that there was a bit of a bait and switch. I mean, it's, uh, that, that's, I mean, kind of what happened. Uh, it was very tough. I never thought I was someone who's capable of a, a nervous breakdown, um, but I, I think I came as close as I'll ever come um, on uh, December 22nd. And then I think once you've snapped, you probably don't realize it because you're, you've gone insane. <laughs> and it, and, and you, your ability to, to sort of look in the mirror psychologically is, is substantially impaired. Probably most insane people don't think they're insane. So uh, 
I don't know, it just it was just like, geez. If Tesla Motors were to fail, it would be it would be a dramatic comeuppance for Elon. It might be the thing that sort of shakes him awake that he can't just imagine a new world and will it into being. That he actually has to solve all of the everyday problems that everyone else in the business world has to solve day in, day out. Elon's dream of taking on Detroit with a publicly traded car company is falling apart. Desperate for money, he's reportedly talking with big car companies and has applied for a $465 million loan from the Department of Energy. What we've been told by the DOE that we are uh, likely to receive the money in about four months. So if we're to take them at their word, then that's what will happen. <laughs>